Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I didn't want to do the same old silly fun video this week because there's a lot going on right now that I really care about. Um, so I'm just really not in the right mindset to, to make a fun video. But I still wanted to put something out because I think it's really important to talk about the Black Lives Matter movement and the different things that you can do, especially as an ally. There are multiple actions you can take in order to support the Black Lives Matter movement. The first and arguably most important is to educate yourself. There are countless resources that you can find to learn about important subjects such as systematic racism, white supremacy, and different ways to be an ally. There are books and articles you can read, YouTube videos, movies, and documentaries you can watch, and podcasts you can listen to. I will have a page linked below to some of these resources, but you can also find countless more on your own. And it's okay to admit you didn't know something before. It's okay to learn and grow. I didn't know it was okay to only be not racist. I didn't know that you have to be actively anti-racist. But now I do, and I'm working hard every day to be an actively anti-racist ally. White people have to learn to acknowledge our privilege and use it to stand with the black community. We have to amplify black voices. Once you have educated yourself, it's also crucial to try and educate those around you. It can be hard and difficult. But if a family member or friend makes a racist joke, call them out. Explain why it isn't okay to say that anymore. Explain why Black Lives Matter is so important. Why, explain why Black Americans are at a disadvantage in our country. Explain why all lives matter is an inherently racist statement. If they won't listen to you, point them in the direction of resources, send them a link to a video or an article. If we can help to eradicate racism in our immediate circles, we can move towards a less racist society. After this, you can start to sign petitions and contact your local government officials. I've signed many petitions over the past couple weeks and DM'd my state representatives, and it's super easy, doesn't take a lot of time, and can be super effective. Make your voice heard. Again, there are links in my description to places you can do this. If you have money, you can also donate. There are fundraisers and organizations that are taking donations to support victims, families, protesters, and legislation. If you don't have money, you can also find ways to donate your time and support, such as this YouTube video that uses the ad revenue to donate to different organizations. If you are able to, you can also attend one of the thousands of protests going on in every state and all around the world. I have already attended five, and I plan to attend more, because nothing speaks louder than a group of people coming together to demand justice. This topic isn't just a trend. We have to keep fighting. As of filming this, George Floyd's killers have been arrested and charged, but Breonna Taylor and countless other black Americans who have been wrongfully murdered have still not received justice. This isn't a political issue. It is a human rights issue. And if you stay silent, you are a part of the problem. And I guess I'll just end this on saying, all lives can't matter until black lives matter. We have to demand change. We have to demand justice. We have to speak up and we have to take a stand. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for listening.